Good day guys and welcome back to the Ruffies. Today it's just me. I'm going to do a what I got for Christmas with you guys. Um, I've never ever since I've been on YouTube done a video like this and um, we really enjoyed our Christmas this year and I'm just about now to take all my Christmas stuff and put it away so sadly. Um, but anyway, I thought I would definitely sit down in front of the tree with you guys with everything I got for Christmas. Um, a couple things here, a few things here is it's for both of us, but um, I thought I would kind of incorporate it with my gifts. I'll get to each individual item as I can. I have so many mixed emotions. I'm so excited to do this video with you guys. I can't wait to show you guys what I got for Christmas. Um, but I'm actually really, really sad. I've had a past couple days being um, a little bit more emotional because we're getting ready to put all my Christmas stuff away in my home. I love Christmas. I had my Christmas decorations and everything up for um, two months, I think it is. Yeah, it's about two months. Um, just about two months. My tree has been up, I think it's about two months. Um, has it been two months? Definitely six weeks, you guys. And it's really, really, really hard for me to put everything away, but I have to prepare myself that, you know, Valentine's Day is coming and we have some other special occasions coming soon too. So, um, I just have to tell myself everything is going to be okay, Nadine. Put the Christmas stuff away as hard as what it is. Um, it's my most favorite time of year, you guys. And, um, so anyway, yeah, I just have to prepare myself mentally that, Christmas is over, but we're getting ready to go into some other um, fun occasions and stuff soon. And so um, it's, it's all going to be okay. We're all going to be okay. If we prepare ourselves mentally most of the time and tell ourselves that like, you know, this is sad, this is going now, and this happy, exciting next thing is now coming, I think we wouldn't have so many hard times. That's just my thoughts on that right there. So anyway, I'm sad. But I'm happy to show you guys what I got, so let's get right into what I got for Christmas 2022. Um, the very first thing I have to get off me because I'm sweating here with it on me, you guys. Um, we went out one day before Christmas. We went to HomeSense. A lot of the stuff here, you guys, is from HomeSense or Winners. My two favorite stores there, sister stores. HomeSense is my all-time favorite um, store to shop at. And uh, Winners is my, of course, my next go-to um, favorite store to shop at. Anyway, we went to HomeSense. I think it was December 24th. And they were, like, marking everything down flat out that day. We said we were not going through the door the week before Christmas because we had all of our shopping done, like, a long time in advance. Um, you got to start way back in order to build up to Christmas, you guys. You don't go out the week before Christmas Anyway, that's a whole new video I should talk to you guys about later. If you want to hear how you can have a really good Christmas, even with inflation, um, let me know if you want to hear that type of video down in the comments, and I will totally, totally help you guys out, Lord willing, for next year, if you guys want to um, get right ahead of Christmas. If you don't do it the week before, it's never going to work, unless you're an actual multi-millionaire, which I, I think a lot of us are not. Anyway, <laughs> I'll do that video for you guys later if you want me to do that type of video, a sit-down video and go through how you can get things you need and want for Christmas for you, yourself, your other other people in your family, your husband, your wife, whoever you're with. It is possible, you guys. It is totally possible. You just got to start way in advance. You got to think about Christmas way before Christmas comes, but you got to be a Chris Christmas fanatic um, like me. If you see anything floating around in the air around me right here in this moment in this video, it is totally coming from my blankie. Um, I got this blankie, you guys, right back to the video, sorry. Um, I get off track a little bit as I'm talking. You all know that. Um, sometimes. I got this blanket, you guys. I think it was like, um, December 24th. I really feel like it was December 24th. We went into home since just looking around and as we were looking around, a lot of things were getting marked down. And I thought to myself, why? I understand they're wanting to mark things down, but I thought usually they would mark stuff down on Boxing Day, which is December 26th, you guys. But anyway, needless to say, they marked this one down. They had a lot of Christmas stuff marked down, you guys, and this is so warm. Yeah, I just had it over my one leg here on my shoulder for like the thumbnail, whatever. I have to do this and get it done because I'm just, I'm sweating here, sweating. So you want a really, really warm blanket, you should have went to Home Sense or Winners if you could and got a blanket like this. It is a 50 by 60 blanket. Um, it is um, 
nice and furry furry on this side um, and on this side you guys it's like a silk I will tell you exactly what it's made of I'll find the tag right here what a warm blanket talk about a warm blanket you guys it's gorgeous gorgeous it's 100% polyester so the front is a hundred percent the front is 100% polyester and the back is 100% polyester and you can machine wash it in cool, delicate cycle. Um, it says lay flat to dry. I actually threw this on in the dryer and I put it on a, what is it, extra low setting, I believe it was. Turned out best kind, as you can see. So this is my lanky that I adore. There it is. That's the front. I guess you'd call that the front. This, I guess, is the back. And so this is my blankie. It's 50 by 60. I curl up with this every evening when we still watch Christmas movies or Christmas cartoons or anything we want to watch, you guys. I have my own blankets. I have one, two, three. Oh, I have many blankets, you guys. And now Daryl has a bunch of blankets, too, because I got him some for Christmas this what, this um, Christmas as well. So I'm just going to toss this to the side because it's so thick, so heavy. The only thing with that blanket, you guys, is the fact that it's the same thing as having, like, a cat in your home. It really, really is. It sheds, and as it sheds, you go and you swiffer, and you go on your floors, and you clean and everything, and you're always going to find these, like, they look like dust bunnies, but they're not. They're just little clumps of, like, um, um, the polyester, whatever, come off the front. And so, that's, there's that blanket. So, you guys, next, I don't even know where to start. I have so much, but I just got to get right into it, get it all done with you guys. Daryl um, went out one day before Christmas, and I was complaining, complaining, complaining. I don't have enough candy dishes. I have a lot of, like, antique candy dishes in my home. I love antiques, you guys. But I said to my hubby, I said, I would love to have, like, a Christmas candy dish. He went to Home Sense, and he got this one. Not sure what the price was. There's one of my hairs from the blanket. I'm not sure what the price was. It's just a Christmas gift, you guys, but I thought it was so, so cute. I had to show you guys. I, I had it in use right now, and I had to go dump it and bring it into the video to show you. I had to bring some stuff back into the video because we got a lot of stuff taken out from under the tree, especially from Daryl's side, and this is what's left in my side. So we get this Christmas candy dish. I love it, love it, love it. It's just a real candy, candy, candy dish, yes. Um, Next, you guys, I didn't even have this in the frame when I first started the video, but I um, got this. Uh, um, I got this footstool, you guys, Bohemian footstool. I got it come from India, and I absolutely adore it. I had one of these years ago, and I had to get another one this year. So I got this one. Yes, and you have to get the little white beads, you guys. The great big, big, big bag of beads. Um, the little white tiny tiny beads and you have to fill it up with that so um yeah she's full and she is perfect when i'm sitting in my chair all by myself or with my husband on my side and i have my feet up on that um bean bag it's cut no not a bean bag food stool with the beans in it it's not beans it is little tiny white foam bubbles anyway i got that for christmas for myself my candy dish, you've seen. Everything is going to be very random, I believe, because I'm just going to pull from everywhere because I just need to get this video done. Quality Street, you guys, is my all-time favorite chocolate. I have too many cans right now of um, Quality Street. Um, I just wanted to get one of them and show you that I did get Quality Street. Yes. So I got a bunch of um, Ray Dunn Christmas mugs, you guys. And I got them like a little bit just before Christmas, like days or maybe a week before Christmas. Every time I go into Home Sense or Winners and I see them, I buy them or Daryl gets them for me. And so I'm, I just have four to show you, but I have eight, I think it's eight or ten Christmas Ray Dunn mugs. Anyway, the first one is um, Snow Much Fun and it's iridescent. iridescent. It's very, very beautiful and gorgeous. It's what it's like inside. It's a Ray Dunn mug. Yes. The next one is Hugs and Kisses. I love that. I love any mug that's double-sided. I don't usually prefer a mug that's just one-sided like this. No. Um, but anyway, we got a uh, Hugs and Kisses mug Christmas one. And then we got the Santa Ray Dunn mug. Santa. Daryl usually, obviously, drinks out of this one all the time. Santa. And then we got a Merry Little Christmas mug Ray Dunn. Right inside, 
Um, I love the Ray Dunn mug, you guys. I am collecting them like there is no tomorrow. No tomorrow. Anyway, it's crazy. So I got these, um, I got these four, I got a four pack of um, Ray Dunn coasters, you guys, for Christmas. Uh, so I hope Ray Dunn comes out with a four pack of everyday coasters, you guys, because I really, really love her products. I really, really do. And anyway, um, these that I have here for Christmas, one is Hug and a Monk. See, there are four coasters there. Red and green, two red, two green. Um, Hug and a Monk. Cup of Cozy. Holiday Spirits. And Cup of Cheer. And so on the back of each one, the tag is still there, Ray Dunn. Yes. So we got those. Got those for Christmas. I thought I would just show you guys our matching stockings that we had this year. This is what they both look like, and they were full to the brim. So anyway, just thought I'd show you those. They're gorgeous. Every time I keep blowing, you guys, it's from the stuff that's left all over me from my blankie. I love the blanket, but she sheds. Um, I still love her, though. Of course I do. So I got the... Um, Friends mug and coaster set gift set. Um, Daryl got me this for Christmas. That's the picture here, and this is the coaster and the mug. I love friends, you guys. And so, as soon as Daryl seen this gift set for me, he ran and got it right away. Yes, he did. So next, you guys, I have this sweater on. It is the Care Bear sweater. Um, I got it in a, I think it's extra large. And I got the Care Bear, and I went out and got the um, Tweety sweater, which is extra large, and so is the third one. I absolutely adore these sweaters. Any kind of cartoon sweaters, you guys, I'm totally, totally into. Love, love, love. So some of these things I definitely got myself. Some of these things came from Daryl and... Um, family members, etc. So next, you guys, I have a um, house coat. And this is the belt that goes with the house coat, the wrap around. And um, Daryl's mama gave me this house coat. It's gorgeous. It's heavy. It's nice and um, cozy and comfy. Got the hood on it. And so I really, really love it. I tried it on when she sent it to us. I tried it on right away. And I showed her how much I loved it. I almost cried. I love it so much. It's so fluffy, so um, cozy, comfy, and cozy. You can wear it like watching TV, just lounge around, or you can haul it on when you get out of the shower, of course, whatever you want to do. And she also sent me with that um, house coat, she also sent me pajama bottoms. I love these too. They go with the house coat, the color matches great. And I really love these as well. She knows I love it. Yes, she does. Yep. So next, you guys, Daryl got me Jessica Simpson slippers with some bling bling. I totally, totally love them. And so every lady needs some bling bling while they have a rag in their hand going around doing housework. Am I correct or am I correct? I think I'm correct. Yes. Next, you guys, I got this gorgeous, gorgeous um, shirt, holiday shirt, Christmas shirt, world's best baker. Yes, because Mama Bear is the world's best baker when she wants to bake. I didn't do much baking this year, you guys. I did a lot of, um, what do you call it? Non, what do you call it? No bake recipes. I did a lot of no bake recipes this Christmas because I wanted to spend every ounce of my time and being um, with my husband with my husband this year you guys for Christmas and I just want to soak it all up and now that it's over again like I told you at the beginning I'm sad but here we go so anyway I have this next night dress right here um, be joyful yes be joyful you guys yes be happy be happy for others and your happiness will come to you yes Next, I got this. I think I got this one. I went and got this one. I seen this one. I was like, I have to get this. Um, it's a nice, nice, long, um, 
night dress, night shirt that you could just wear around the house. And I thought, how gorgeous, how pretty. Snowflakes and a um, little bit of plaid in there. And I thought, yes, that is me. And it has a pocket in the front right here. You can throw your hands in here. Come out the other side. Like this. It's in the front there, around the belly area. And uh, very, very cute to wear around the house. I haven't worn this one yet, but I'm excited. So excited. Next, you guys, I have three two-piece pajama um, sets. So one right now, I have the legs on right here. Tom and Jerry, that's the legs. But I want to show you guys the sweater on my Care Bears. So this is the top part of the Tom and Jerry's um, two-piece. Actually, I think these are all three pieces. The um, I said they were two-piece pajamas, but I believe that they're three-piece because I believe that the hair band, um, the hair um, twist tie thingy comes with it. So it's three three-pieces is what it is. So I made that, you guys. I got these Christmas tree earrings. I got these um, bows and snowman earrings. Jingle bell, Christmas tree, jingle bell earrings. I have gingerbread earrings. You have to go all over town. Listen, when you're looking for earrings, you guys, you got to go all over town. you got to tell your husband or your whoever's in your family what you're looking for exactly. Or you have to be out almost every morning, every second morning at least, or whatever that you can do. and Or in the evening, whatever you can. you got to be going around to all these little drug stores I find. That's how I found my earrings. These are so cute. I got these Christmas tree earrings. Sometimes I like a big Christmas tree and sometimes I like a little Christmas tree. I have reindeers in today, you guys, but they're from like two or three Christmases ago. I'd be, I'm always able to keep all my earrings and reuse them every year, of course. And these are snowman earrings. They're absolutely gorgeous with the happy faces on them. I think they're happy. Yes, they're happy. Yes, they are. I wouldn't have bought them. I don't think if they were happy. Um, so anyway, you guys, the next thing I have, that was all my earrings. So the next thing I have, you guys, is a 50 piece set of um, Charlie Brown, Snoopy, Linus, the Peanuts Gang. So I have just 50 um, stickers in there. I got those. I got those for myself for Christmas. Love, Peanuts, Charlie Brown, Snoopy. I have, I have, yeah, I have four packs of um, lip gloss, you guys. Not lip gloss. Well, yeah, lip gloss, I guess. Lip gloss, yeah. Lip balms. I have four packs of these. I opened two packs like just right after Christmas and then I went out one day two or three days after Christmas and I seen these on sale sale like half price these were $2.50 a pack I got these for myself for Christmas plus I have um, 16 more in the room yes so I have a lot of lip balm from Christmas yes I do so next you guys I have you know, about me the hand warmers and the foot warmers so when you're going outside, we live in Canada, it's really, really cold. Yes, we need hand and feet warmers. We have a crossword book. Love doing crosswords. Love doing crosswords. <sighs> Queen Anne chocolates. I like these. They have, to me, it's just so much like, um, what's it called? A cherry blossom. Except it doesn't have all the nuts in it, which I prefer no nuts, really. Um, Daryl loves all peanuts and all different kinds of nuts. I like some nuts too, but sometimes I like just a good chocolate with a bunch of cherries in there. These are so cheap to buy, but they're so, so, so good. I have those. Daryl found, um, Daryl found me some shortbread stars with toffee pieces. It's funny, you guys, because for this Christmas, I made shortbread like way at the beginning of December, but around Christmas, again, I didn't do any big baking because I wanted to soak up all, all, all that. I wanted to soak up all my time with my husband and me and him spending quality time together. So he got me shortbread instead of me making shortbread. I would suggest to him many days, Daryl, I think I'm going to go baking today. He says, no, no, you don't need to bake today. No, we're going to sit down and watch a movie. We're going to relax, enjoy time together. And that's what I wanted to do. So I'm so glad we took this Christmas and really, really soaked up each other's time and really enjoyed Christmas. So, so happy with that. <clears throat> Daryl's mom sent me a um, Newfoundland purse. So, so cute, you guys. It has all the um, Newfie sayings on it. I actually love it, love it, love it. Just like I do with the house coat. She sent so many things, but I left a majority of it. 
in um, the room in Daryl's pile because I didn't really want to put it in the video because I'm not sure how Daryl wanted to, if he wanted to share what he got for Christmas or not, but I definitely want to share what I got for Christmas with you guys this year. Um, these are the other two-piece pajamas. That's the bottoms. Snoopy, ha 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 ha. Yes. And this is the shirt, the top part. Snoopy and Woodstock, you guys. Ha 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 ha. Everything is laugh, laugh, laugh. You gotta laugh in this life, you guys. You gotta laugh. We laugh about everything. Lots of things. We laugh, 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 laugh. Yes, we do. And then my last pair of pajamas I got for this Christmas. I love these jammies. These all came from um, Urban Planet, you guys. This is the Carriers. And these are large this year. Last year I had extra large. These are large this year. But I still really um, love my extra large. I still use them. I don't find too much of a, big, of a big difference in the sizes, you guys, with when it comes to large and extra large. I really, really don't. But um, they're just comfy. The material is so comfy. And so I just love my jammies every Christmas from Urban Planet. I love them. Care Bears there. There's the shirt. Which one is she? Um, is that Love A Lot, you guys? I think that's Love A Lot there. Because she was a Share Bear. Is that Love A Lot or Share Bear? I meant to go out and get the um, Care Bears. I think it's four or five in the pack. Um, all the little Care Bears all together. But I want to get the great big Care Bear. Yeah, this one here. Um, level. I think she's Share Bear or Love A Lot. Let me know in the comments, guys. Next, you guys, I have four pairs of earrings I got from Ardeen's. I found these myself. I think I got these myself, or did Daryl get me these? I can't remember, because sometimes we go together. Sometimes I go out and check out myself. Um, but anyway, I got four pairs of heart earrings, you guys, from Ardeen's. They're absolutely gorgeous. This is, I think, my most favorite pair. Yes. Then we got this pair. Gorgeous, gorgeous. See the bling, bling, bling? Then there's these. And then we got the little tiny hoop earrings. Yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love my heart earrings. Valentine's is right around the corner, so I'm totally excited about my heart earrings. So next, you guys, um, Daryl got me a two-pack pair of socks, and he got two, one, two, three, three two-packs, so six pairs of socks, you guys. This one is Tweety Bird and Bugs Bunny, and this is um, two pairs of Tom and Jerry, just like my jammies I have on. And then this is a two-pack of Woodstock and Snoopy. Yeah, it's so cute. So I love those. Love them, love them. Love them, love them. Um, Daryl got me a three pack of um, card games. So we're going to do these. I believe we're hoping to do these with you guys um, online in the videos. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, it'll go great. I got some uh, strawberry cream praline chocolates, you guys. These are from the UK. They're pretty good chocolates. They're not the best, but um, they're not too, too bad either. So I tried a couple of those. They're not too bad. They're, they're pretty good. Um, so a friend of ours gave us some dish cloths. Um, and there's a box from the Christmas store. And when you open it up, she gave us a lovely, lovely Always Near Cardinal Christmas um, ornament, you guys. So beautiful. So gorgeous. Cardinals are just gorgeous, right? Yep. So thankful. She knows who she is. So she gave us some PC um, Easy Grip of a mitts, you guys. 
Next, you guys, I um, got a lot of um, box sets for Christmas. I did. This is just some of my box sets. Um, so we got Taxi. I got Taxi. Yes, love Taxi. Um, Highway to Heaven box set. Love Highway to Heaven. Highway to Heaven. Love it. Happy Days. We only have seasons one to six with Happy Days. Got to get the other ones because there's more than six seasons of Happy Days. Um, I've got Reba. Got the Wonder Years, you guys. Love the Wonder Years. Love the Wonder Years. The Facts of Life. Love the Facts of Life. And the best. I'm not sure if I should say the best because there's a big toss up with Daryl and I. Which one is the best? Is it the Waltons or is it Little House on the Prairie? You have to get Little House on the Prairie next, you guys. Let us know down below which is your favorite in the comments. Is it Waltons or is it Little House on the Prairie? Daryl really, really believes it's um, Little House on the Prairie, and I know Little House on the Prairie is so good. Michael Landon, we love you. We love you. Cannot wait to see you again. Um, but um, Walton's is really, really good too, you guys, so it's, it's kind of hard to pick which one's the best. Which one, you decide down in the comments which one is the best. You like Walton's or Little House on the Prairie, or maybe you like Highway to Heaven, or maybe you like the Facts of Life better most of all. Maybe, I don't know. Um... Next, you guys, we have a bunch of movies, Christmas movies. This is um this is some of the gifts, you guys, that Daryl and I both got each other. I just thought I'd put it in the mix with my gifts here because it is, you know, part to me, part to him. So I thought I would share this with you guys in this, um, what I got for Christmas. So the Christmas blessing, we've not yet seen this one. Um, and this is a six-pack Faith and Family Christmas Collection. We haven't seen any of these yet. We're getting ready to watch them all, so we're so, so excited about that. Um, we've seen Miracle on 34th Street, the two of us, this year for the first time. Listen, in all my life, you guys, up until I met Daryl like 13 years ago, before that time period, um, I didn't take a lot of time to sit down and watch a lot of movies. It's the best I'll say. I didn't take time and sit and be still a lot. I did not. It's only since I met Daryl, and thank God, um, Daryl and I met, it's only since we met that we're actually starting to sit down and relax, and me, I should say, I'm starting to sit down, relax, enjoy my time, not not wanting to have to run and go and everywhere and do everything, and I really, really love my time at home. Yes, I do. Um, and Daryl's a homebody as well, so that makes two of us, thank God. So we got the Thomas Kincaid um, Christmas Lodge and Christmas Miracle, two movies there. It's the two movies in one. Um, we got a lot of Christmas movies this year, you guys, because, yes, we sold off our stuff um, last year. And um, so we wanted to upgrade, you know, our movie selection. And not just that, you guys. In um, On YouTube, you guys, when you go to look for a movie... You can't, I find now they're getting stricter and stricter with what they're putting on YouTube for movies and stuff. So, um, I thought, you know what, we need to really, really get our movies back into our home. Yes, we do. So, The House Without a Christmas Tree. This was a good movie. This was a really good movie. At first we thought, I wonder. We had to pause this movie, I think it's five, three to five times till we got to see the ending of it. But, um, it was a very good movie. A Christmas Story 2. We both were not very impressed with this. It was not funny at all. I know it's kind of like a classic, but um, it's it, it was the both, the both of our first time seeing this movie, but we didn't think it was that funny. Um, there was a bit of, um, yeah, parental guidance suggested. We didn't even pay attention to that when we bought it. When you buy a movie and you see it like this, you almost feel like it's PG rated. It's fine. It's going to be good. But as soon as we turned it on, we learned that it was not um, PG rated. Yeah, so it's not one of our favorites. But anyway, we got it. So next, you guys, we have the Dolly Parton's Christmas of Many Colors, Circle of Love. Such a good movie. Such a good movie. I'm so grateful we got that movie. Um, okay, that's it for our movies, I guess. So next, you guys, we have the Christmas True or False. Um, quizzes in here. We didn't do this yet with you guys. It's not yet open. So I think we're going to do this with you guys very soon. I think before, um, we do, before we do these, um, 
games with you guys because we want to do so many games with you guys on uh, YouTube. Yeah. So we'll do the Christmas tour or false with you guys soon. Yes, I say you guys a lot. I just do a lot. So, so Daryl got me um, an enamel cast iron Dutch oven, um, 4.7 liter, 5 quart. I'm so, so excited to get into the kitchen soon and use this. Lead free. It's lead free. So that's a good thing. Try to stay away from um, using anything with lead, made with lead, you guys. Seriously. Anyway, I'm um, very excited about our Dutch oven. So I can't wait to get into the kitchen and use this soon. Next, I guess, we're getting into some more chocolate. Um, I was gifted um, two Terry's orange chocolate. I have a really nice size a Boxing Day haul that we went out and got. Maybe I could do that with you guys. If you're interested, let me know in the bottom, in the comments of this video. And maybe I'll do a Boxing Day haul with you guys. I know it's well after Christmas. We're into the new year already. But maybe I could still do it with you with what we have left from our Boxing haul. Um, we got, I got two, I got two um, containers of the um, Icy Squares, you guys. Everybody loves the Icy Square. So these are really, really good in the freezer. Some people like them in the fridge. I really, really like them, and Daryl really loves them in the freezer. Um, you put them in your mouth frozen, and you, it slowly comes back. And we all know a good Icy Square melts in our mouth anyway. But when it's frozen, it takes extra time for it to melt, and it's, I think it's almost even better than just having it room temperature. So next, you guys, Daryl got me the um, hand cream. This is a uh, five-pack of hand cream. came from Korea, you guys. It was made in Korea. So it's Korean hand cream, and the scents in here, it's um, one is violet, one is milk, peach, strawberry, and grapefruit. So I'm super, super excited to get into these real soon cannot wait. I have such like a fetish for like certain things. <sighs> too many, too many things. Blankets, mugs, perfumes, hand creams, handbags, shoes. Who don't have fetishes for those types of things? Who don't? <laughs> if you're a marshmallow fan, a fanatic, um, at Christmas time or whenever you can, I'm not sure if you can get these on Amazon all year long or not, but the Water Bridge Just Mellow these are the little um, snowman and Christmas trees. They are so, so good. I already went through one bag from Christmas till now, and I have another bag. Um, these are so, so good. So good. Love them. I have a little thing of a, um, I have the little After Eight straws, rich, dark mint straws with a luxuriously smooth center. They're so, so good. Love After Eight. I have the um, strawberry after eat, the orange after eat, and the regular after eat. Let me know if you want to see a boxing haul, boxing boxing day haul. Um, next, you guys, I found these. I got these for myself for Christmas. Um, they're the little tiny. This is the small one, of course. I got these at a drugstore. This one was a dollar ninety nine. These were two ninety nine. These two. So okay. Just, I just love a good hand cream. And you know what? I'm finding, I used to use um, a different brand of hand cream over the past couple of years. And I find this year I've tried the Vaseline hand cream and it absorbs so well into my skin on my hands. And after you use it, it's not too greasy. And it does say on there, it's not greasy. So it's a highly recommend um, product for you ladies or anybody that has really, really dry hands and you're looking for a very non-greasy hand cream, Vaseline will definitely be your go-to. Trust me, trust me. This friend of ours, she gave us um, two of these mugs. They're gorgeous cardinal mugs. And it says right up on the top there. Um, Listen to the joyful sounds. Merry Christmas. Gorgeous cardinal mugs. Love them, love them, love them. Yes. Gorgeous. Next, you guys, I have the Heart Candy Glamorous Lip Gloss Set. And in here, one is Crystal, one is Carnival Ready, and one is Cocoa Rush. So I'm excited. I've never ever tried the Heart Candy Lip Gloss Set or Lip Glosses, so I'm very excited to try that. And then also, I got myself the Heart Candy um, Hand Cream. I've never tried the Heart Candy Hand Creams, 
So this one has a vanilla swirl, coconut love, sweet strawberry, and cherry blossom. I couldn't see it here, but on the back it tells me cherry blossom. So I'm excited to try the four of these um, hand creams. Let me know if they work well, will ya? That would be great. One of my major, major go-to um, perfumes is Calgon. And um, it used to always be the marshmallow, um, the marshmallow fragrance. But I've recently, in the past year I think, I've really, really switched over to cotton candy. But anyway, um, if you ever get close to me, <laughs> physically, you could um, most times always smell the uh, marshmallow or cotton candy off of me. Perfume. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. I told my husband I was running out and he was so smart he ran and got me a four pack. And I hope he got it when I was on sale because I like to get it when it's on sale. Next, Daryl got me um, the Orchard and Vine. Got it at the dollar store right here. Um, I'm so excited to try this. He got me two packs, actually, and I opened up the other one, and I'm into it already and loving it. I can't remember the three. There were three um, Christmas kinds. I think one was a gingerbread, one was a peppermint, and there was another one, but they're in the same kind of a box, except it's red. Reddish or like a, yeah, some kind of a red shade. Um, anyway, this one is vanilla shea, pink citrus, and cucumber water, so I'm excited to try these as well. Hand cream. I'm so excited. Listen, I'm a hand cream aholic, if that's what you want to call me. That's fine. And the Camille, um, I've been using this hand cream for years, and I love it. I find it is a little tiny bit greasy, not too, too, too bad, um, but um, the Vaseline, I think, really, really steps up its game past the Camille. Um, I still love this one. I use it at nighttime when I'm going to bed, definitely. And I just hang my hands over the bed sheets because I don't like to get all that cream in the sheets. Okay. <laughs> but um, I let my hands dry and when they're dry, I feel it pretty nice and dry. And then I go on to sleep like a good little woman that I am. Yes, yes, yes. Daryl got me this gift set of uh, hand cream. Um, it's a pillow spray, hand cream, and it's a lip balm. And it's all, let me see. What is it? Sleepy Lavender Essential Oil Chamomile Flower Extract Hops Extract and Hawthorne Extract. So I'm not sure if I'm going to like it or not, but I'm going to give it a try and see how it goes. Yes, I can't wait to see what it smells like and feels like. You know, you know. Um, next, Daryl got me the EOS Holiday Lip Balm. Three kinds are candy, candy cane swirl pink champagne, and raspberry cloud. So I'm excited, excited to try these because not every single day I'm dressed up like this new and I'm not dressed up but makeup and stuff done. Days when I just do no makeup, no hair, whatever, and I don't wear um, any makeup, I'll usually use a lip balm if I'm going anywhere doing anything outside in the cold. So I cannot wait to, I can't wait to try the EOS. I don't think I've ever tried the EOS actually but anyway I'm excited to try them so next you guys I have the um, life lifesaver six-pack do you guys remember the so nostalgic for me because like when we were kids I think it was five over here and five over here it was at least ten packs I'm not sure if it was six and six or five and five now the company got it down to six packs and the price is I think still expensive but anyway I got the lifesavers so the next thing Daryl got me is um, festive sour gummy candy. He knows I just love candy and sweets. It's shocking how much I love it. But anyway, he got me the six pack right here. Um, got those at uh, Home Sense, you guys. Stackers. Yeah. So I, get, I should break into them today and see how they taste. I hope that they are so yummy. So I got some chicken bones, candy. So excited about those. Love them, love them. Next, I got um, M and M's mint, and I got the M and M's milk chocolate. Love M and M's guys. On a good day. On a good day. Next, I got a, a big size um, Toblerone. So excited about this one. Um, this one is a Swiss milk chocolate with honey and almond nougat. So excited about this. Cannot wait to have some soon. I also got a four pack of Hubba Bubba gum. Such a child at heart, you guys. Such a child. Daryl got me the orange cream pop Twizzlers, you guys. Mm-hmm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And I actually got three notepads for Christmas. Thought it was really, really cute. 
The first one, you guys, is the Peanuts um, Snoopy and Woodstock. So excited about it. Yes, yes, yes. A friend of mine gave me a holiday shopping list. Love it, love it, love it. And then Daryl got me a Ray Dunn to-do list on this side with Santa going down the chimney. And then he got me the grocery side. And he got it from Home Sense. Is that Home Sense or Winners? Winners. I think this one came out of Winners. Yes. I got this one at Winners. So grocery to-do list. A grocery list notepad and a to-do list notepad. So you guys, that is everything I got for Christmas. I did get some more clothes, some more big bulky, bulky sweaters. Um, I think I got some more clothes. But anyway, like a couple days after Christmas, I took everything, all the clothes from under the tree, went and washed everything before we wore it, of course, and put it all away. So I didn't leave it there till right now. But anyway, I took some of the clothes back and showed you guys what I got for Christmas. So I hope you enjoyed this, you know, what I got for Christmas 2022 video. If you did, um, give it a thumbs up, you guys. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite item that I got this year. Um, did you get the same item as what I got? Did you get any of the same stuff as what I got? Let me know down below. And if you maybe would like to see Daryl's what he got for Christmas, let, let us know that down below as well. Not sure if he's going to want to show everything he got for Christmas or not. That's up to him. Um, but anyway, that's it for today, you guys, for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment, share it with your family and friends. And we'll catch you next time back here on the Bucky's Love Guys.